welcome back to the Hermitcraft Vanilla server and as you can see my giant stained glass mushroom is starting to take shape looking pretty good and uh, need to get some more work on it well for one thing the glass outer shell here the white glass needs to come all the way to the ground and uh, I'm going to need a bunch more of these mushroom blocks that I got from uh, Silk Touch Pick on um, on the uh, red mushrooms because I'm using those for floor material. I don't know. Up here, I was kind of tempted to use glass for a lot more of this, and I might still revisit that idea. But in the meantime, I, mean, I want to finish it off with the mushroom blocks and see how that looks and so on. I've got the top on the place and it's pretty much finished the red part is. I know it doesn't look smack on exactly like a red mushroom but it's close enough to the idea that that's mainly what I wanted. So I need to do something about getting the more mushroom blocks in there of the red mushroom variety. Let's see my glass is here that's the white glass I've got left. Actually, I suppose I could make some more easily enough. There's some bone meal, a few stacks of glass. We'll see if that's enough. All right. Oh, no, 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 it can't come down to there. Alright, let's try this. Ah, it looks a little kludgy, but... I think we can make that work. this will work. do nicely. A little bit kludgy on some parts of the shape, but I think we can salvage enough of it that it will still look like what I'm wanting it to. And of course the structure inside will be coming down as well. some work to do there but we're getting there okay here's another piece okay but to get more of these giant mushrooms I have spent some time looking it up on the wiki and uh, did some trial runs off camera in a test world and I figured out that what I need to do is I need to dig a hole and set up a place underground. We need a room that is 9 by 9 by 8 tall. Do I have any more ladders? I've got one. Got some sticks. If I can hold on to them for two seconds. And that's what we'll do is we'll just get a ladder built. Going down here. Yes, I know you shouldn't dig straight down, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Alright, let's 
put the ladder on this side. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right. And now to clear out a room nine wide by nine long and eight blocks high. And I'm going to go ahead and get that cleared out. get our mushroom room set up. Alright, I've got a room dug out here and right there is where the mushrooms will be planted. There won't be lights around them when they're planting though. And I'll have lights in the corners, but I don't want to use torches. See, I dug out another room two blocks high, directly underneath, so that I could run wiring. And what I'm going to do is use glowstone lamps. So let's see. Got some glowstone dust here. Got some redstone block. No, not yet. Okay, there we go. Some redstone lamps. Keep the glowstone, the uh, redstone with me for right now, I think. See, I want to have a switch on the wall, I think right about here, so let's just open this up for now. Down here. Yeah, the switch will be up right where this open space is up there. So we'll just go ahead and plug dirt in there, mark that. All right, switch. We'll staircase the redstone down here somewhere or another, and it will go to the underside of all the lamps, which will be here and in the corners of the room. I'm going to set this on cobble on I'll go ahead and set it on dirt for right now and I'll change that out for smooth stone later on all right now we duck down here that's another one that'll have to be replaced okay Got some light down here so I can see what I'm doing all right. Okay, now we just need this go over here to all of the lights. Let's see. Seems to me I ought to be able... 
keep having to break that torch. <laughs> Alright, there's one of them. And now, over here, I'm going to need to get some repeaters made. Ah, no, no. That's not right. That might be. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Put some torches in here until we get the lights working. As a matter of fact, let's head up topside and get some repeaters made. Put away some of this cobble. That's, that's probably not enough, but we'll start. We'll start with it. Okay, so if I take a repeater here, Hello. Oh, that's another thing. We're going to have to have the signals all in the same phase. that turn it on? Yes it does. Alright, good. Well, that might be a little clutchy. Alright, if that turns that on, it should also power the redstone here. No, it doesn't. Okay, been a while since I've worked with redstone, so let me take a few minutes and get this worked out, and I'll be back. All right, here we go. It's all lit up, and flip the switch, and it all goes dark. Flip the switch again, we got it back on. Circuit was actually easier than it should have been, or easier than I made it out to be. Okay, we've got this first piece that comes over here and lights up that corner. Right here there's a repeater, goes around here, branches off, goes up here, energize this block to activate the lamp above it, and come over here, energize this block to lamp, light up the corner lamp. And then there's this one, the original piece, which was the right idea but the wrong implementation. Well, it didn't go far enough. Come over here, energize this block, powers the dot, energize that block, powers the lamp above it. And then over here, this one does the same thing as the other side. Comes up here, goes up here into that block, powering it, powering the lamp above it. And this one goes up here and powers that lamp. Branch off here with another repeater to come in here and power that block to power that lamp. So all eight lamps run on one switch. Now I realize this is probably not the most compact or efficient circuit but it works and frankly that's all I care about 
and maybe I used more repeater than I needed to. I'm not sure about that. I just wanted to be certain. But it works, and now I can just block this off and forget about it because it works. Have the light on when it's not in use because we don't want mobs spawning down here, but when it's time to spawn mushrooms, turn the lights off, plant a mushroom, bone meal it. Turn the lights on, cut it down. Bingo. And now let me go up and get some mushrooms and we'll try this out. We ought to have no more problem growing the giant mu giant mushrooms of either flavor, to be honest. Start with the red ones, because that's the ones I had the trouble with. Okay, can't plant it here. Turn the lights off. Now I can plant it. Bone meal one time. Bingo. Turn the lights on. We have a giant red mushroom. Alright, I'm going to cut a few more of these and that way I'll be able to finish the floor up topside. Alright, there we go. Got plenty of the mushroom blocks now so I can go ahead and finish this place off. At least finish off putting a floor in. I said I might change some of this or even all of it out for glass at some point but for right now I think it's a good idea to just have a floor all the way across so that I can go wherever without having to worry about falling off Maybe I should get some more of those redstone lamps. I think I have a few of them left. I want to try and see how they look as opposed to using the torches. Yeah, there we go. And if I sink them into the floor probably be the best, although I'd have to work out a way to get up there to put a torch underneath, but that wouldn't be too awful bit of a problem. Alright, let's put a few of these on here, and then come back up from underneath and throw some torches on switches on them. Let's see how it looks. I think it's going to do reasonably well. Alright. Head down. Get these things powered up with levers on them. Let's see how it looks. I 
I'd say that looks pretty good. You can sort of kind of see the levers on the bottom of the lights, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. As a matter of fact, uh, at night, I don't think it's going to show very much at all, and we'll, we'll wait till sunset and find out. Meanwhile, let's take some of this stuff down. It'll make it look better and also have the advantage of not taking, uh, leaving more uh, available space for setting up chests and work area. That by itself makes it a good idea. do like that right there for the moment just to keep the horse from getting out. Don't feel like chasing critters today. up a bit. I think that's getting a lot closer to being what I need. I'm going to end up having to move this horse stable somewhere or another. don't think I have to do it right away. Okay, we've got the right idea here. The mushroom shaft is now coming on all the way to the ground, more or less. I could bring this all the way to the ground, in a way I should, but I don't want to mess with this road. So this can be like, this is a section chopped off the side of the mushroom or something. Let's get a little bit more of this glass. Get around here.
Yeah. Okay, let's see about changing around this mushroom stable. Oh, wait a minute. There's something else I want to do. Some planks. Okay. A pressure plate. One fence gate. I'm going to end up having to move my sign. There. Automatic door that zombies can't open. That's better. Now I feel better about being AFK in here. Let's give the horse a few more blocks this way and take it away on the other side. glass. Excellent. That is not glass. Jeez, come on. Okay, there's no s nothing to tie him up with or anything, but at least not handy. But the gate is closed. That should be enough. All right, let's get inside. better. Alright, one little bit to touch the outside. much better. And I should probably plant torches up on top of that thing so I can get up here. We'll worry about better accommodations later. This is at least reasonably secure, and the tower is now complete around this side. Let's have a look from over here.
Okay, looking better. I think that's looking a lot better. And the lights at night definitely do the trick. So I need to get a hold of some more glowstone and get some more glowstone lamps put together to finish out the uh, lighting up there. That is going to work great. Speaking of lighting, it's a little dim on the ground here. All right. Getting some progress made. And the first of several interior floors is put together. With some more of this old exterior to remove. Get this stuff out of here. Silk touch all this glass. break the bed. I can set that up here. Where there's more room. Reset my spawn and everything's cool. anything here? No. Now, I, I am going to have to move all those chests, but that's not a problem. Because I'm going to end up moving a lot of my storage out of that ground floor level. Might end up putting the bed back down there. I don't know yet. But we've got to start on the mushroom tower. Complete with a mushroom room down below. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here.